So with these ponytails, they are a traditional ponytail, each different heights and all of that. But what's you so know what fun? else is fun, James? Yeah. Just to it. add, you know, we started these ponytails back in Dallas. We did in April. Yep. So they've been with us all season long. So it's been really fun seeing how they've transformed yeah. the show. Evolves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take a picture since it's the last show. <laughs> <laughs> Do it this social is what media. This one looks like. All right, so with the stock, so this is actually a stock. So it's a take on the, the traditional stock. But what we did, Hallie, I'm gonna have you hold that. So what we did is we had laced the stock with cording where we found at the craft store one afternoon when we spent four hours there. <laughs> and how we did it is at the base, we crossed it two times. And then in between, I'm gonna have you hold each side, in between the stock, we pulled sections of hair out. And the sections, and I'm gonna just undo one here on this side and undo the other so you can literally see how it came to life. We would wrap it two times and then pick up hair. Right, so this is what I mean by having an extra set of hands in the salon when you go to do this or editorial session styling or for social media. And then we wrapped it like that. And now the ladies are converting them. So that's something else that's wicked cool is that now you can take this and move it into a second look. What are you doing, Emily? All right. So I got a little greedy with the redheads when we did model call. I'm just going to go ahead and throw that out there. <laughs> it's like, I want both redheads. So with Kate, she had a stock that set really tall. So we had a long closed pin that ran down the back inside of the stock that kept it upright. So the first thing that we did was remove that. And then that allows us to be able to push her stock flat up against the top of her head. And then what we're going to do is create a faux fringe. So we're going to give her a really nice full faux fringe with a ton of texture. So we want to secure this flat. So again, we're going to go in with our, where are they at? We're going to go in with one of our long pins. So I'm going to turn her to the side and I'm going to use one side of the pin to run up against her head. And then the other side of the pin is going to catch the cording so that this sits super flat up against the back of her head, just like that. And so now it'll sit flat and we can go in, we can add some texture and we can create that faux fringe. Taking out um, either side, right? So the left and right of Allison's pony. And we just went in with our moon comb again and added some lacing and some cushion and came right out on it. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take my um, clothes fastener and attach it on the end of her hair. So now when we come through, and roll it up on itself, right, to get this cool shape. I just have to find the cording on the back. Let's see if I can, there it goes. And voila, we've got this nice shape that's gonna come to life. So we're gonna do the other, th the other thing on the other side. <laughs> same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. So I started the same way Emily did, and I had taken a large pin and pinned both sides so I got it nice and flat to her head. Um, sometimes I like to play off things just for pictures. I know we were talking about social before, but if I look at Jess from the side, it looks more like a bob than it does her long hair, right? So it's kind of a little take on how can we make something look like it's something else. Then I went through the front of these sections, right? Just right through the end of that ponytail, and I just started lacing through it, smoothing through the top of it, and I'm gonna pin it so that she has more of a full fringe that's gonna maybe a little Betty Davis, maybe I'm dating myself, but <laughs> nice little fringe that's gonna be right through the front of her face. Um, and when you look at it from the, it just looks like a whole new haircut, right? We don't always think about transforming looks to look like a different haircut. So I'm just taking a take off that. All right, so now I'm converting mine into a regular fishtail. So before we did an inverted fishtail, and now I'm gonna take it and regular fishtail. So before I would start on the side, look at my watch, take the section from the outside and flip it under. This time, I'm gonna hold my hands as if I'm 
we're having reins in my hand, riding a horse, and I'm gonna take the section from the outside on my left hand and cross it over the top to the other side, working all the way down the strand of hair, and then I'm gonna play with the shape when it's finished. All right, I think she should cut a French. Like, it looks pretty good on her. She should. So what we did is we took each section, so we took the left side, her center, and the right side, and we laced it with our moon comb. So we created a ton of texture. And we want it to look a little bit more frothy and airy, not as smooth as when we were lacing on the um, modern ballerina. I placed her right side first, then the center, then the left side. And what this allowed us to do is build on top of the shape so that we get this beautiful volume and texture versus taking the whole shape all at one time. And then we're just gonna tuck these ends right under her ear as if she just has the, that fringe or that face frame tucked right behind her ear. So just continuing on the other side and then on the bottom, the last bottom piece, doing the same, right? So we lace that under, attach the pin, rolled it up on itself. And one of the great things about this, especially when it's lower, is like stunning, right? From the front, you get a little bit of her hair spilling over, but if she was at a party or, you know, a big event, then you got this really cool, interesting detail on the back just to edge up um, a normal little ponytail you would do. And I am just finishing this up. I'm just making sure it's even, you know, Sometimes in salon we cut fringes and you gotta take a step back and you look in the mirror. <laughs> Is it even? Isn't it even? And we chase them out of the salon. <laughs> I don't know if it's even. Hey, come back here. <laughs> it's not even. And now I'm gonna use my lock it down. You know, I know Jamie had talked about it earlier and this is giving me the ability to make it stay. The funny thing is we did this yesterday and Jess took some pictures and sent it to her mom and told her mom I cut her hair off <laughs> and we like really bleached it blonde. And her mom believed it. <laughs> her mom fired Michelle. Fired me, <laughs> you know. All right, I got a little hair hack here. I'm all about Ooh. the hair hacks. All right, I love them. They're my friends. Because they're like, ooh, I love, <laughs> I love a good hair hack. Good hair hack. All right. Taking an open, I'm going to put it in front of me so that you can see. Taking an open fastener, and I'm going to spray my wind toss texture spray on it. Because you know sometimes with these guys, they just fall right out. Right? Our guests are walking to the front, and you can hear them fall on the front. Ping, 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 ping. Um, so spraying our wind toss texture spray on the outside so that when I do come in here, I'm going to go against where I want the pin to be and then I'm gonna flip it on its side and push it into the hair. It not only hides the pin, but it secures it, okay? And because of the wind toss texture spray on there, it will secure the hair on the outside when it dries. So the last thing that I'm gonna to do to Kate is I have our Mess It Up Texture Paste. So this is a shea butter base. It's gonna give a satin finish. It's a ton of texture, but adds a lot of moisture to the hair. So I'm taking a like one finger's worth, so it's about a pea size total amount. I'm gonna emulsify it in my hands really good. I'm gonna take these ends, lay them inside of my palms, and I'm just gonna lightly rub back and forth. So that product is gonna give me that soup, you know that guest that's like, I want it to look PC. Can you cut it to be PC? And you're like, no, it's product, baby, <laughs> right? So this is a great trick to show them if they want that PCness through their ends. Take their palms and just very lightly rub back and forth and they get that perfect airiness and it has that soft texture they're looking for. And I'm just finishing up. I actually, you know, Jamie had showed you how she wrapped some of this pony, right? How we started. So now that I work through the back of this section, all I'm doing is taking the pieces that lived on the sides and I'm forcing them into the middle, right? So as I force them into the middle, it's finishing up that haircut. So when I look at it from all angles, it looks like a different shape. It looks a little bit like a haircut for her. And it's just a little something different, right? Like a, again, inspiration on a take of a ponytail. Right. 
gorgeous. Love it. Love it. So good. Uh. <laughs>